Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Unis Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have learned about the electric vehicle, how this particular electric vehicle works and what are the different components in the electric vehicles. So basically guys, in that particular video, we are more focused on the traction battery pack, which produces the electricity and then this particular electricity gets transferred towards this traction motor and due to this particular motor which is connected to the transmission and then the power can be transferred to the wheels and ultimately the vehicle will work so guys over here in this particular video we are going to learn about the fcvs that is nothing but the fuel cell vehicle so guys this particular fcv is a one step advancement in this particular electric vehicles so basically in case of electrical vehicles we need to plug that particular vehicle into the external source of power supply and then like the charging time is more in case of the EV such as 4 to 5 hours it will take 4 to 5 hours to completely charge that particular vehicle to that particular battery traction battery pack of that particular vehicle so over here that but that is you know that is nothing but the biggest problem in case of the electrical vehicle so what if if I generate the electricity in vehicle itself by using the hydrogen so guys this leads to the generation of this particular hyd uh, hydrogen car so basically guys over here in this particular video we are going to learn about the hydrogen car that is nothing but the fuel cell vehicle how this particular hydrogen car works and what is nothing but the principle of this particular working of this fcvs so guys welcome back to the another video of ingenious academy myself narendra and here is the another video from ingenious academy in the automobile section so if you are new to my educational channel over here ingenious academy please do subscribe to my educational channel and guys please press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you will get instant notification so let's begin with our today's topic that is of fcvs so guys in our previous video we have learned that this particular electrical vehicles are the zero emission vehicles so basically the problem in the EVs are nothing but the charging time and the drainage of that particular battery after the when the battery drains out it will take another four to five hours to completely charge that battery so that is the biggest hassle in the case of EVs so now the FCVs are introduced in the market the, this particular FCVs are you know the self generating electricity so these are the vehicles which generates the electricity and that electricity generated are stored in, inside that traction battery pack and like the rest of the process is the same as that of the EV. So over here in the case of the FCVs these are nothing but the fuel cell vehicles inside that particular vehicles there are the fuel cells which are present. So guys these fuel cells are nothing but the self electricity generating devices which is having uh, like the uh, some kind of the electrolytic solutions there is a cathode there is anode and there is a, some sort of the electrolytic solution also there so guys the most commonly used fuel cell is nothing but the PEM that is nothing but the polymer electrolytic membrane so over here the polymer is sandwiched between the two electrodes that is nothing but the cathode and the anode so over here in the case of FCVs like there is a hydrogen cylinder is there and inside that particular hydrogen cylinder a hydrogen gas is stored or else a uh, hydrogen rich compound is there so this particular hydrogen gas is stored inside the tank at a very high pressure the pressure range is between the 700 to 800 bar now this particular hydrogen gets introduced at the anode and the oxygen from the outside air is introduced at the cathode side so basically when the hydrogen enters in the anode due to the catalyst and due to the chemical reaction the electrons from the hydrogen are they gets break basically the protons and the electrons are gets separated at the anode itself so due to that there is an accumulation of the electrons at the anode and the, this particular protons gets carry forward via that particular membrane and this particular protons get deposit at cathode so in at the cathode there is an oxygen and the protons the which are present over there at the cathode and at the anode there is an accumulation of the electrons so due to that particular accumulation of the electrons these electrons are gets forced to into the external circuit which is further connected to the battery so due to that the flow of the electrons will get occur at the anode side so basically the flow of the electrons is nothing but the electricity so this leads to the charging of the battery or as this leads to the production of the electricity at the anode or in the external circuit basically 
and at the cathode side we will get the some sort of the protons and the oxygen so due to the chemical reaction at the cathode we will get the hot water and steam which is present at the uh, cathode side so basically this is nothing but the simple like a reaction which occurs in this particular fuel cell one fuel cell produces the 1.12 volts of the uh, electricity so in that particular in this particular hydrogen powered car there is a stack of fuel cells so this particular stack of fuel cells are there and due to this like the charging of the traction battery takes place so this is the major and the important process in the fcvs the so guys the rest of the process is same as that of the ev so basically after like the charging of the traction battery pack okay the traction battery pack the and this is further connected to the my uh, traction motor which is further connected to a transmission and then to the wheels so the power gets transmitted towards uh, to the wheels via that uh, via a traction motor so the overall the process is the same so guys over here in this case of fcvs there are some sort of the uh, new advanced technologies are implemented such as regenerative braking the electricity gets generated while braking and then it is stored into the uh, battery pack so it can be of the auxiliary batteries or else it can be of my traction battery pack also the size of my hydrogen tank and the size of my traction battery pack is decided as per the capacity and as per the range the range of this particular fcv vehicles will be the same around that is of the electrical vehicles such as the 300 miles which is equivalent to 482 kilometers so over here we we are getting a good range that is very much similar to my we are getting a good range as compared to uh, this particular electrical vehicles the main advantage over here is that this is like this is like eco friendly vehicles and there is no harmful gases gets produced over here so there is no harmful effect on the greenhouse gases as well so this is nothing but the this is 100% eco friendly car so that is nothing but the hydrogen car the other part and the other components of this particular fcvs which are very much similar to that of the ev so over here in the case of this particular fcvs like the battery battery is gets charged through the fuel cell but over here the main important component is nothing but the controller power electronic controller so over here this particular power electronic controller is connected to the fuel cell and the traction battery pack this particular power electronic controller controls and delivers a uh, like the sufficient amount of the electricity towards the traction battery pack and it like regulates the flow of electricity towards it it also regulates the the torque and speed of the traction motor so this is you know this is also another important component in the fcvs alongside that this particular traction battery pack is connected to the dc dc controller whereas the high voltage gets converted into a low voltage and this particular low voltage is used in the auxiliaries of this particular electric vehicles or, or else uh, in the in the different electric components of the vehicles so dc converter is also the another important uh, like uh, important component of this particular fcvs now let's talk about the refueling of this particular tank so after the consumption of the hydrogen from the tank so the hydrogen is used and the the tank will get empty after some time so that's why the refueling is also necessary over here this particular hydrogen tank can be refueled in just 5 minutes so guys over here we have saved lot of time in electrical vehicle it was taking around 4 to 5 hours but over here in this case of fcvs it only takes 5 minutes and after that 5 minutes your car is ready to go in next 500 kilometers so that depends upon the different types of the manufacturers and everything also in the models and the capacity of the tank of course so guys over here in this particular video we have seen the hydrogen car how does this particular fuel cell vehicle works so guys this is nothing but the major principle of the working of this particular hydrogen car or as the fcvs so guys if you like my video please hit like and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this video Thank you.